Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unorthodox Otaku Guy. We're going to be doing a simple episode today. Uh, I know this this is a good way to just do like the simple like video like vlog setup, answer simple questions, or just do something fun or anything related like that. So let's get into uh, today's episode. It was a request where um, you were interested in my room setup and my collection and whatnot. So let's just do a brief overview of everything. I've been collecting for a long time. I'm a big figure fan. I've always absolutely loved painting and sculpting, the arts, anything like that. So gaming and anime figures really cover that really well. And I love also love photography, so they kind of like clashed together and created uh, me to jump into the niche category of like figure photography. But I'm also dabbling into uh, trying to become a professional photographer over time. Uh, so that's a fun thing to discuss that with in later times. Well, with Without any further ado, let's go into my collection a little bit. So, uh, starting on this wall is pretty much all my Final Fantasy VII collection that was given to me as a present. Um, I originally only had uh, Aerith, or some people know her as Eris, uh, from Final Fantasy VII, and I also had one of my favorite characters, Vincent Valentine. And... My buddy is not really big on the series, so he donated the rest of them to me for uh, a birthday. It was either birthday or Christmas. But either way, they hold a special place in uh, my gaming favorites of mine. Uh, sorry for the constant adjust of uh, uh, lighting here. Uh, so over here, like right next to it, I have my work area um, for some sets. This is a huge dollhouse that I use as basically scenes or dioramas without having to keep rebuilding or anything like that but it's actually really nice um you might be able to see it not sure nah it's too dark back there but anyways um it's a three-story and so I have it all plant like pretty much set up where it has like kitchen has like living area uh I still have to do the lighting uh I'm gonna get to that I'll probably do an episode about that once uh, it comes to, um, but there's like a living area. I'm going to put a, put a pool table in there. It's great for creating scenes and creating dynamic shots. Um, I already did, I did one shot from that area already, or two shots, I'm sorry, two shots from this house already, and it blew up. People loved it. So uh, definitely worthwhile because I only paid 20 bucks for this, which was a pretty good pickup. Very good, because I, I spoke to a lot of people in the miniature and house community, and they said these things can easily run like 200 plus dollars. So, not bad. Not bad. Um, but yeah, there's like a uh, you know, sleeping area. You know, upstairs, I'm not really sure. It's like, kind of like a studio, and then there's a bathroom up there. So, uh, it's to be worked on. As, as more miniatures are acquired, they do tend to cost a lot add up, but uh, I have these wonderful shelving setups that I've put together and they branch across uh, the top part of my studio setup with my computer and so what I did for these was uh, these are technically bookshelf toppers and I got these there's a, these are from I Ikea and normally I would build my own stuff but these were actually really nice because they have a even a lip here so what I did was I got the lighting from Ikea and I cut out little tracks to go up along the way so the whole thing has lighting and then just switch it on and off so if I go over here and you'll see I have the middle section I can turn it off lights up so it looks a lot more presentable uh, at the moment I don't have risers I gotta hit risers uh, eventually I get to that so I just have cardboard boxes to create like a depth effect. But I will show you, because uh, it's a pretty in-depth collection of what I got up here. Um, I have, this is like general anime shelf or anything of the sort. So I have like uh, Detroit Metal City. There's uh, Tommy Tech. Um, it's the uh, Little Armory Girls. Um, another Tommy Tech. I've got um, Napako here. Um, I my, One of my favorite memes. I got uh, Nico Nico Ni. Love Live, um, Ronco, I'm not, you know, I'm not really big on the, uh, Idol Master, but Ronco is an awesome looking character, I love her, um, got Guts from Berserk, 
uh, Anita, if anyone remembers her, uh, from uh, Reader Die. Got some Goku back there. Um, small time Dragon Ball fan. I grew up on Dragon Ball. I don't completely obsess with them, but I uh, got a uh, little Mune Mune from um, uh, Abinabashi. If anyone knows that show, it's pretty pretty niche actually. It's really funny though. Um, so this shelf is mainly gaming shelf. Uh, we'll move the three D prints out of the way. I'm working on that project one day at a time. Uh, so I am collecting the. Oops, sorry for the jittery phone. Uh, I am collecting the Overwatch collection of Figmas. Uh, I have most. Of, I have everything up to date pre-ordered. So these are the only ones that are currently out, um, except for Reaper still in the box down below. I will get to unboxing him, I promise. Um, but uh, recently I got Widowmaker. She's amazing, by the way. Um, got Tracer there. She's cool. Got uh, Genji. So the f that's everything up to date. Minus Reaper. Reaper will go here soon. Uh, I do have a Riku from Final Fantasy X. Uh, that is technically... Yeah, I think that's a 10 outfit. I don't think that's 10 too. That's 10. Sparkle. Um, could be 10 too. I could be lying. Phoenix, right? Ruby. Um, this figure is not too bad. It's okay. It's got some mixed love. Uh, 2B. She's awesome. I know some people had some mixed love for that figure as well. They belong next to each other, so they got, they got some mixed love about them. Uh, Kasumi back there. She is a wonderful piece of crap from Figma. I would call her one of the first figures for the fall of Figma of their quality because uh, her head wants to fall off on the alternate pose. I had to dremel it myself and they basically told me politely to go fuck myself. So uh, We have Dark Magician Girl. She's awesome. Definitely a uh, good purchase. I even have the bonus. Uh, definitely a uh, under under desired and now wanted figure so i know people kind of try to hunt her down uh i just immediately pre-ordered her i couldn't not have her because she's one of my uh childhood uh waifus i would say i loved her so much when i was younger um i got the soldier from metal gear solid i know he i i even have him with his bonus shotgun um i was i'm a metal gear solid fan big time so i immediately jumped on his pre-order when he comes out so i will immediately jump on a pre-order if it's one of my favorite absolute favorite series um that's just something i have to do uh there's bloodborne there i'm super guilty um i have not played bloodborne but it's on my to playlist i promise i'll play it but the character looks amazing i had to have it i just had to have a figma if it looks that damn good uh but i know i'm gonna play it because it's that type of game i like um i ended up buying the uh the bear who was originally a april fool's joke and what's funny is, um, some people may not realize it because there's like a niche community of people who actually love Splatoon. Uh, I love Splatoon. That is technically Mr. Grizz, I believe his name is. Uh, that's technically a Splatoon character, uh, which is really funny. That's why I have him up on the game shelf. So when I get the uh, um, the Splatoon amiibos, uh, I'm going to put them with him because he runs the, uh, the Salmon Run room. So if you ever look at the Salmon Run room, uh, it's one of those bears. It's like a little statue bear. I forgot what it's called. Um, an old favorite of mine from uh, Dreamcast. We are uh, Ulala. Uh, Ulala is from Space Channel 5. Great game. They're actually coming out with a new one for VR. Looking forward to that. Especially because I have a PSVR. So big time happy about that. I opted for the orange version. I didn't get the white one. I didn't see a need to buy both. Uh, she has adjustable eyes. So I made her look ridiculous. Um, but orange is one of my favorite colors. So... I have different orange. I know white is like the classic color, but I just love the orange. Orange is cool. This shelf is, if you are a fan of like Miku, I have uh, racing Mikus and snow Mikus in here. And I also have, I finally got one of my grail figures I always wanted, um, which was the orange blossom Miku. Uh, I can thank um, Akiba Soul for that. Uh, it was technically used. It came mint condition. Absolutely. So happy. But I've always wanted that figure. It is gorgeous. Uh, I definitely need a new really good shot of it. I don't def I don't know if my last shot did its justice. So I might have to do a reshot. I owe that figure a really cool shot. Because it's one of my favorites. Um, if I had to say. If I had a favorite. Because I technically don't own it. There's one other figure that I really want from Miku. That I don't have yet. I want the racing Miku statue from 2016. 
she's sitting on a stack of tires, and it's got like a little floating robot with her and stuff, or like an energy drink. I really want that scale figure. One of these days I'll get it. But one of my favorite figures actually is is the Snow Twinkle Miku. I f absolutely am fascinated with the the style of like the the moon and the lantern, uh, the outfit and everything. I just think it's an absolutely adorable uh, setup of an outfit and theme. The theme nails it. Uh, so I'm really like, looking forward to that. I'm actually a little behind. If you notice down here, um, this is my backlog of figures I need to go through. So I have like three scales over here from a couple of my favorite figures I know finally came in. Um, but I've also got some a bunch of Figmas and uh, Nendoroids to do. And not only that, I've also got some uh, NECAs as well. Uh, from I finally found a NECA Terminator. I got NECA Spyro. You know, you name it, your mix. Uh, NECA Duke Nukem I finally got. I got a prize figure at Rem. Uh, I got myself a Zuna. Uh, Kizuna AI. I got the uh, Euro Camp Girls with the little... This is the little bonus. Like the campfire and everything. But anyways, yeah. Uh, let's continue on. For, I get carried away. There's so much in here to go over. Um, we have my favorite anime shelf. That's this category here. The last one there's like general anime that I like, but this is the one I love. So these are like some of my favorites. From uh, we got Haruko from Fully Cooly. I grew up loving that show, and I would love if they would make her a proper figure. But this is like one of the only figures I can afford to find. I know there's some others out there. They cost a lot, and I know their quality isn't the greatest. I'm still hoping and praying maybe they'll, you know, make a good quality figure, whether it be, you know, Rebel Tech, Figure Arts, Figma. Someone pick up and make some FLCL figures. Come on. You could do it. It's amazing. Um, Gurren Lagann. These are actually some of my oldest figures. I have Gurren Lagann and Kidu and Yoko, and I'm a big-time Gurren Lagann fan. I love Studio Trigger. Um, stuff from Trigger I'm guilty of just falling in love with, so... Um, don't hate me for it, just kill a kill, just, I, I gotta love it. Anyways, um, one of my absolute favorite animes is ReZero, I have Rem and Ram, I have Amelia on pre-order, she will pop in here as well, um, Rem, as you probably guys know, is one of my favorite characters of all time, next to one of my other favorites of all time, which is Bash, the Stampede from Trigun, that is probably... It, it might be my top favorite anime. It's pretty hard to top. Uh, Bashi is one of my absolute most inspiring characters. Uh, he's very, like... His attitude is everything I just love about him as a character. Uh, I just... I'm so happy that I at least made a Rebel Tech of him. The joints suck or not, but it's a cool-looking character. And I love it. He's got his Magnum, Flash Effect, and everything. Must have. Um disappointing figure but i actually love the show zero two is an amazing character um funny story on her she is the character i did not know that i was gonna love the most and i thought it was gonna be ichigo and i ended up not liking ichigo and i typically would you know like characters like that i don't like ichigo and i like zero two zero two is amazing she's uh, such a wonderful character and that's where she nailed right there so I'm going to get myself an Ichigo character, or figure, eventually. Um, since people hate her, maybe her price will be like, when it comes out. Um, two of my favorite grails I have are Ryoko and Satsuki Figmas. Funny story, um, Ryoko is technically the first Figma I ever purchased. Um, my first Figma was, it's in the next booth, I'll show you. But this one here is uh, my technical first purchase. I got her for, I think it was like $90 or something like that. I think it was $90 and one penny. Um, I won an auction when she was first out. And it was mint in box. It wasn't, it was used-ish. But it was like, it was like light new open. But it was before they reprinted her and she was worth a lot of money. And the price I got her for was actually really good at the time. And I'm so grateful I got her. Uh, because the quality on her is just... They don't make them like they used to. Or, and it's sad I can say that saying with Figma's now. Because Figma's quality has just gone down the shitter. Uh, Satsuki. I don't have I don't have the bonuses on either of these characters. I know there was something for Satsuki. I don't know if there was from Ryoko. But either way. I'm just happy to have them. Because I know they're 
Um, now more so on the desired list for anyone who's a late adopter of Figma. They are wonderful Figmas. Satsuki has a small flaw with their hair. It's big and it doesn't have articulation. That's the only issue. But otherwise, wonderful Figma. Um, I've got two of my favorites up in the back there. Uh, we have uh, Monaco from Arise. No, I'm sorry. It's the... I'm sorry. It's not Arise. It's the 25th anniversary, I think, um, of the re-release of the movie. And then we have Standalone Complex. Uh, so, both of those are absolutely wonderful Figmas, and I kind of dropped the ball on not getting the pre-order bonus for Motoko's, I think it's the 25th anniversary one, where it has, like, the transparent legs. Um, I ended up buying it from Tokyo Otaku Mode, and I didn't know about the whole pre-order bonus for her, so I missed out on it. And I know it's worth money now, and it sucks. It's kind of cool, and it probably could have made some interesting shots, but what are you going to do, right? Um, just be glad to have her, basically, because I know now we're probably getting late into ownership of her, and like, anyone who wants her value's kind of like, creeping up a little bit. It's the main character. You gotta look. Ghost in the Shell is up there in like my top favorite list. So, as you can see, it's, this is the favorite shelf. Um, Saitama and uh, Midoriya. Those two are some of my favorite superheroes. I love those two. Um, Saitama is super underrated as a Figma. Um, a lot of people don't like his Figma for some reason. Something about his face, whatever, like that. I, I'm i okay with it. I love it. I, I know some people were even saying, like, the bootleg had a better face or something like that. Whatever. I love the Figma. Um, only issue I have with it is it's really susceptible to paint transfer. Because the, the way the yellow is and matte material, that's something about it. Uh, my Midoriya is authentic. It is a first print. And it's scary how much it's technically still worth, even though there's going to be a reprint on the way. Uh... It's still, at the moment, worth about $500 right now. Ish. Uh, it's out of the box, so $400. I, was, I would say $400, because it's out of the box. Um, if you had the bonus, I've seen it sell for, sell for $600. That's scary. But it's that whole license scare issue. There's a reprint coming. I don't Me, I don't care about the worth, as you can tell. I'm out of the box. I use these things. Um, it's just a scary thought of, if I ever broke it, um, because of how much it's worth. If I ever want to replace a part or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, Midoriya is scary worth. He's an awesome Figma, though. He's he, He's got some great expressions, great uh, poses and whatnot. Only issue I have with him is th those hands. Those big hands. They like to fall off because if you over-articulate, they pop off. Okay, going on to another favorite shelf of mine. This is my Smash shelf. I'm a huge fan of Super Smash Brothers. I'm not a tournament freak, but I love Super Smash Brothers. I have every single Smash Brothers. I will play the crap out of Smash Brothers. Probably till the day I die. Anyways, um, it's a mixed collab of like Nintendo and whatnot characters now, since they're now incorporating some other characters. But I got the three Samuses, including apparently no. So there's a lot of people that don't like the old Samus. Um, I'm I'm not picky on that. I love both of them. The only thing is the old Samus has terrible joint issues. When it comes to, like, being loose joints for such a heavy uh, Figma. The redo has a better paint job and better poses. The old one has better effects with it. I would kind of be happier if they would have at least let me transfer the effects. I probably would have to mod it somehow or whatever if I want to make it work. But there's no effects with the new one. But the paint job and the, like, the, the sculpt and everything is killer on the new one. Uh, Zero Suit Samus is super underrated. She has a great paint job. Her articulation is great. She looks great. It's just a great overall Figma. Um, Fire Emblem. There's not much for Fire Emblem at the moment. Um, for such a series that is Horde uh, in Smash Brothers, um, and in popularity as it is, there's only two Figmas. It's Lucina and Corn. So, Lucina is my first Figma ever. It was a gift from my girlfriend, and boy, did that set off a fuse. Um, I just blew up in my love for Figmas, because I love figures, but I never realized how much quality Figma had at the time. And Lucina set the standard for me of how good quality it is. She's a killer Figma. Like, her quality is obscenely awesome. I love her design. Her sculpt is great. She's got great materials everywhere. And she's durable, too. I've taken her everywhere for such cool shots in so many places. And even if it didn't become a successful day of shooting, she still was with me. Like, she's very durable. 
Um, Snake, another underrated Figma. Um, a lot of people don't like his face. Uh, I love Snake. I love Metal Gear Solid. And I don't give a F. Um, he's still awesome. I honestly find the weird face uh, hilarious and great for just comedy poses or something of the sort. Um, yeah, I know he's got some weird issues with the paint and whatnot or the sculpt for the face, but whatever. It's fun. Uh, it's a great thing. The articulation is crazy good. Uh, that weird neck, too. He's got like a custom cut neck and everything. So he's fun to play with. Um, his joints are getting a little loose from how much I've been playing with them now. Uh, so he might need the uh, nail polish treatment eventually. Uh, some of my absolute favorite Figmas I have are the Legend of Zelda ones. Uh, this Twilight Princess Link, I have the DX version. Absolutely irreplaceable in terms of quality for a Link. I love him. He totally devastates the Skyward Sword Link. Uh, but he was my first uh, uh, like Nintendo Figma besides Lucina, where... Like, my first Zelda one, like, he, he really made me f make sure I got the rest of the Zelda characters. Um, Twilight Princess uh, Zelda, she's a killer Figma. She's gorgeous. Like, in like detail-wise, absolutely a gorgeous Figma. Um, totally underrated. And as cool as they sold her even, like, in stores, like Best Buy and whatnot. I thought that was cool. Um, the little DX Twilight... I'm sorry, um, A Link Between Worlds Link. Uh, he's cute. I love his character. He's small, uh, so you can have a lot of fun with him, and he has tons of accessories. Uh, definitely an underrated Figma. When it comes to like doing like photography or like collections or whatnot, he's a Figma I don't see too much of. It's more so, you know, the hardcore like Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword or the Nendroids, but I don't see too many of him. He's a great Figma. Anyways, um... Recent release of Smash, this is very relatable. I know you're huge fans out there for Persona 5. I made sure I do have Joker, and I also have Casual Joker. And what's cool is both of them technically are in Smash because they gave him the alternate outfit um, for his casual form as a costume in Smash. So it is freaking canon for the shelf now. He was actually up here before that, but I had hoped that it would be an alternative costume, and it is. So he is now in Smash. Welcome to the Smash shelf. Um, and then lastly for this shelf, we do have uh, Ryu. He's a um, figure art. And he's actually really good. He's a lot of fun to mess with. Um, I actually enjoy how much fun he is to mess with. It sucks he doesn't have a stand, but he's got big fat feet that hold him up really easily. So that's fun. Um, man, we got we got so much to go through over here. But... This shelf is my overzealous uh, Sword Art Online and Fate shelf. And over here, I have way too many of some of your favorites. Um, I wasn't going to say right now, I'm not a huge fan of Fate. And you're probably wondering, why do I have Fate Figmas then? Well, their armor is so damn awesome. The sculpt and painting for it. Um, I will, to be honest, just steal for body swapping. It's just so cool. I'll make my own custom stories and whatnot. Kind of like kid, kind of like kid bashing. I'm just not on the fullest extent. But anyways, um, Jalter and Jean Diac, um, amazing Figmas. Quality is cool. Great expressions. Tons of accessories. Uh, Nero, she's adorable. Great again. Great dress. Great armor. Cool sword. Um, we have a couple different versions of Saber here uh, from swimsuit, which is a great body to use body swapping. Then we have a uh, casual like dress one to a armored dress one and then of course her classic blue and armored narrow um, and then we have scat hack i think that's how you pronounce it she is gorgeous i love her um, and then my favorite one is cure light i have her and her casual form back there uh they are the they're uh, my absolute favorite from uh fate i don't care what any fans or butts in terms of the series I love that character. I definitely want to get a scale figure of her. I saw. I know I have one scale figure of her in her armored form with her giant shield that I absolutely love that I want. It's a little pricey, but I'll get it one day. And I don't even like Fate. I just love that character. Alright, for Sword Art Online, I know it's a mixed love. I like the show. Not love, not hate. I like it. But I love collecting for him. The characters are cool, great, and I love seeing on. Xenon's my absolute favorite from the show, if you're wondering. 
But anyways, I do have back in the corner, I do have Leafa back there. I have uh, Kirito, uh, the ALO version. I have Yuki. I know some of you out there probably call it crap because I know she's apparently desirable. I know she was an event exclusive one. Um, I collect Soda online, so I just jumped on it immediately. Um, Asuna, ALO, ALO version. I have the Trap, Kirito, GGO version, along, of course, with Sinon. And then I have original generation Kirito. And I don't have the... I didn't I didn't bother with the reprint of Kirito, um, even though I know he came with, like, an extra sword or something like that. But I didn't... I don't need it. It's the same thing. Little, it's a reprint. Um, so that covers majority of the Figmas, except I have Gravity Rush here. Um, I've got Raven chilling up here. She's got her custom stand with her crow there. Um, I put the custom backdrop. That's a limited edition backdrop from uh, the Cat 1.0. And if you're wondering what the 1.0 is compared to the 2.0, 1.0 came with the collector's edition of the game from China or Asia and Japan. Uh, it was an Asia release only. It was a custom box and it had uh, the Figma of Cat in there. And she didn't come with a real release for a long time, but I guess it got popular enough and wanted enough to where they released the Raven one for Gravity Days, which is Gravity Rush 2. And then they were like, okay, we'll release Cat as it's Cat 2.0. And they changed up for a little bit. But I have Cat 1.0, and she's an awesome Figma. There's no issues with her. She's so cool. Um, so that covers pretty much all the Figmas there. That's a lot of talking just with Figmas. And we haven't even gone through like all the Nendroids, but we're going to go a real quick dash through the Nendroids to all my favorites. So I was like Lena Inverse, uh, Moeta, Clarion, uh, Luna. I don't know that series. I just got it because it was cute. Um, Hinata. There's Toon Zelda. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Micah. Uh, Hotaru. Zero Two. Yumeko. Sinon. Uh, May, Diva, Sombra, we got uh, Chitogi, Onodera, Tracer, Mercy, uh, Kino, Marika, or Tachibana, uh, Ryoko, and Satsuki as well. We got Mako here. Everyone excited for her Figma coming out. Get ready. Um, Luluko, I lost her dad. Don't know where he is. He's somewhere buried in my desk or whatever. Um, just recently just got um Ains and Albedo. Love these two. So cute. Um I've got uh God. Uh Jib Jibril? 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 I can't pronounce it. Um from uh No Game the Life, Sora, uh Shira, Rem, of course I have that Rem, Beatrice, these two are so cute. Um, Beatrice is super underrated. I wish you had a Figma. Um, and then these two are wearing dresses right now, but um, this is uh, Magical Mirai Miku. I love this version. Um, really, really cute. Going over to, I got Darkness there, Aqua, Yun Yun, uh, Kazuma, Megumin. I'm getting normal Megumin hopefully soon. I'm just waiting for my pre order to get shipped. Take it forever. Um, got. Uh, the Little Witch Academia Girls uh, from, oh uh, man, I'm drawing a blank on uh, Akko, uh, Susie, and, oh, I feel bad, I forgot her name at the moment. There's so many names I'm remembering right now, I'm just drawing a blank. I'm not going to dwell on it. Um, that's majority of the interviews there, and that's not including the whole stack that's down here. You'll see there's like Kamina. Um, Sutania, there's Ichigo, there's tons on there, of the other little witch academia down there, um, Diana, so, tons of Nendroids to go through, um, I'm even have a backlog going through on my work shelf here, of, uh, Amiibos, collect Amiibos, uh, I got Daisy, Ken, Young Link, gonna do a review on them soon, that'll be fun, um, I'll show you guys probably the Amiibo shelf really quick at the end. But I've got a couple of unorthodox figures that are for my collection. From uh, I got the Raptor, Indo Raptor, shall we say? Um, that Star Lord, Joker, The Rock, Wolverine. Uh, can't remember her name. Um, Woody. I finally got one of him. He's hilarious. Uh, Freddy Krueger, 
Jason, uh, Darth Vader, and um, English motherfucker, do you speak it? I can't remember.